This is a quick demonstration of the presets I've added into my Novation Launchpad using Bohm's MIDI Translator and uh, user remote scripts in Ableton Live. The session uh, preset remains unchanged and can be used as per normal. And that's the same with the mixer preset. It's unchanged and can be used as per normal. The user one uh, preset for drum control now is a more comprehensive <coughs> drum control page uh, where the 64 clip slots that were accessible by the 64 buttons on the launchpad grid can now all be accessed by this 4x4 matrix. Uh, I can access uh, additional banks of 16 inside a drum rack by changing the selector here. On top of that, I have four levels of velocity control. Uh, that I can control using these four buttons here. The third column here is for uh, turning things like the overdub on and off. Uh, this is undo uh, and delete, and this is to uh, start and stop recording. There's also a metronome on and off button here as well. Uh, recognizing that there's up to 128 slots inside the uh, drum racks, um, I've put in another mode here, which switches to uh, control um, the uh, the visible pads inside a drum rack. So if I move my uh, grid selector here, I trigger um, different slots. So in that way I can access any clips slots I like. If I uh, play a clip uh, in my drum rack, um, I get feedback uh, in the form of the, the red lit blocks uh, and I can switch between my different banks of 16 to see uh, what's happening in each bank. At the top here I have my one octave MIDI keyboard. Uh, with uh, sharps in, in, in orange above. Um, I have here a sustain button. I have modulation, which temporarily, temporarily increases the mod wheel. And I have pitch bend. Uh, these three buttons here are for octave control and the center button always takes you back to the middle octave. So that's drum rack control and uh, MIDI keyboard accessible by the user one mode.